can't. Let me see if I can break some lighting so it's slightly better. Yeah, that's better. So we are using this picture of a rose and it is um, very poorly printed. I printed it on the lowest quality setting. But anyway, taking from this picture to create a bat. Hello, Barbara. How are you? Where are you watching from? So I have my main fibers down here on the feed-in tray that we're going to use to make today's bat. And then I have my add-ins. Um, I have a couple more add-ins over here. This is Undyed Firestar. And then I've got some mystery wool. I don't know what it is, but the locks are kind of nice. So I thought, you know, if I feel like working on this any at all and getting any of the veg matter out, like these locks would be okay. Um, maybe I'll use some of these. Hi from Oregon. Awesome. I'm coming to you live from Northeast Georgia. And it is hot and humid and miserable right now. So we're gonna we're gonna go swimming later. Anyways. Alright, let's get started. I have my plans on how to lay out the fibers and everything um, written down. So I'm going to start with um, blending my greens together. I want my darker greens. Just sort of make a um, a sandwich to get as much color blending as possible. We're going to be putting stripes of color on the drum carter. this bluer bluish green to be very well distributed so we're gonna try to do this all in one one pass here me too roses are so pretty and they smell divine Guide it where I want it. And then add a little bit of green sparkle. It's not wanting to go on the carter. Come on. There we go. Where's my brush? Okay, and then 
we're going to, I'm going to put a little bit more of this textured fleece in here. This has lots of nets and noil, so it's going to add some light texture, which will be loads of fun later. The next color. We're going to put the dark pink in the middle. So we're going to start with some red. Oh, fuchsia pink. And a little tiny bit of this lighter pink. Now the rose in the picture is very pink, but I want to use some red in there as well. I'm going to try to put that right in the middle. didn't blend the way I wanted it to, so I may take it off and put it through again. Or I might just leave it as is. It'll be interesting color-wise. Now I've got this white. Uh, this is Corydale. So the fibers, no, this is Cheviot, and then I have other fibers that are Corydale that I haven't started using yet. Okay, where did that? This is it's Corydale right here. Sparkles for the darker part of the rose. I have a mess over here. Everything's on top of everything else. And then I want some white sparkle for the lighter pink section of rose. That was in the background of the picture. Okay, and then we want some light green because we have two different colors of green in the picture. So I to find the picture again. I don't know what I did with it. I had it in my hand. Oh. Here it is. Okay, so for everybody that's popped in, this is the picture we're trying to recreate. There's the pink rose. It's actually a dark pink, not red. The dark green leaves, light green leaves, and then these lighter colored flowers in the background. 
I don't know if they're also roses or if they're something else, but they're really pretty. So that's what we're trying to recreate today. And this picture was pulled from the June um, Wool and Fiber Arts um, June Palette of the Month voting thread. I don't need pink in with my green. Okay, now it's time for more green sparkles. If I can find them, here they are. And then we'll do layer number two. And right now there's little gaps where the colors are not completely overlapping, which is fine. I will get that done here in a moment. Overlap. Let's go ahead and put some of this, these pretty curly locks, they're not really curly, they're very crimpy, um, that have a ton of veg matter. <laughs> so this is Mystery Wolf that a friend sent me from a zoo near her, uh, so this is not local. Very silky though. I hope you guys are still seeing the video feed. Um, Joy, get off the Wi-Fi. Elijah, get off your computer. Go tell your brother to get off the Wi-Fi, please. home internet is giving me trouble. Here we go. So what is your favorite flower? Barb's already said she loves, or Barbara has already said she loves roses. I do too. But y'all tell me what your favorite flower is. There are so many gorgeous flowers. I don't really have a clue what my favorite is. Um, used to be roses when I was younger, when I was a teenager.
still had him from uh, 15 minutes, so I turned it off. <laughs> That's alright, Matt. Thank you. Alright. I think for this particular color combination and how I'm doing it, painting onto the drum is going to work better than feeding it in. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now we need some more white and pink. another add-in I can use. So I will use that next. I think it's nylon. So I've just got a little bit of nylon here. Actually it's probably more than I need. Not seeing any more comments so if anybody's commenting um, <clears throat> I apologize if I'm not seeing it okay, now for some all over fire star because why not tiny bit of nylon. And then I think I will do um, another layer before I put in more sparkles. This is not the way I usually card. Usually I would have blended all these greens together um, so I'd have a nice solid blend of green that I want and I would have done the same with the pinks and the red. Um, instead I just carded up the fleece that was dyed. haven't done any blending, pre-blending. Do a bit more red. Make sure I put it in the right place here.
right, so I've covered all the sparkles from the previous row. Let's put some more sparkles in. Of course, the sparkle is all over the liquor in because that's what happens. Did you need something, Matthew? Yeah, you can have some watermelon. If your sister didn't need it all, there's two more. Two more. I only got one piece of that watermelon. I got four yesterday. I got two. I need to get bigger watermelons. Mm -hmm. I got a little bitty watermelon yesterday and uh, it's gone or it will be here shortly. Quietly, children, quietly. And that's not a watermelon, that's a golden honeydew. Yeah. Okay, I'm still doing a live video, children. <laughs> if y'all can behave, we'll go to the pool later. will be very this particular bat will be very lightly textured very gently textured which is my preferred my preferred bats are always lightly textured All right, now let's see how much more of this fiber we can fit on the carter before it's too full to take anymore. So I did weigh out my fibers ahead of time, not the add-ins, but the, uh, the main fibers, boys. So we'll see if I can get it all on here. It'll be really close to three ounces which is pushing the limits of this drum carter. So I might not get it all on here, which is fine. And then I'm gonna do a second bat. Um, so trying to make them fairly identical. And one of them will be roll eggs, and the other one will be just a bat. So tell me if you want to see me make the roll eggs off the carter now, or if you want to stick around for the second batch. Oh, I need some white fiber. because I can make this bat into roll eggs or I can do the second bat into roll eggs. Doesn't matter to me. Is it pretty, Matthew? Mm-hmm. Looks like watermelon. 
It looks like watermelon. Mm -hmm. No, it looks like candy. It's supposed to look like this. Oh. Oh. Kind of does. Okay. Um, need some more red. Need some more pink. What happened to all my light green? Did I use it up already? No, I thought I had another piece over here. Oh, I may have already done it. I don't know. We'll see. getting pretty full but I need some more light. I do prefer to feed it in. Anyways, this month we're, um, the plan is to make a bunch of, uh, stop. Finish eating that, and then you're going to sit in time out since y'all can't behave. The idea is to make um, dyed comb top and bat and roll eggs for different pictures that I've selected from the um, voting thread for the May, uh, the June colorway palette of the month. And this is the second one from that. I did request pictures to be submitted for me to turn into colorways, and I got one picture so I've already dyed that up and I don't have the colors I need to make that in real life so it's just on um, BFL right now the sunset on water picture very 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 pretty hard to do this with the fan blowing. It's um, kind of blowing the fibers away, but I'm way too hot to not have the fan on. This is going to be so much fun to spin. One of you lucky people will get to spin it. Because this is going in the shop. 
It'll be in the, um, it'll be in my sale coming up the, is it the 25th of June at 2.30 Eastern. That's when all of my new colorways will be available. We don't want second cuts here. break the bat. Get your button time out right now. Hurry up. There she is, all finished. And since um, children really don't want to be listening today, I am going to cut this short. Um, I will do the other bat when I have a chance to and pull it off as Rolex so that this colorway, you will be able to find it on BFL, which I have not done yet, and dyed on BFL. And I, uh, as this bat, just the one, and then Rolex. That'll be about the same size, same amount of fiber as the bat, because I will do it on the drum carter. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you hanging out with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.